Hello, um, my name's Neil Smith. Um, I'm a patient with camera syndrome. I make occasional videos. I made a video for a while, so I thought today I'll just make a quite a short video, mainly just to have some links to information sites and patient groups that we use for camera syndrome. Um, I also recently used SurveyMonkey to produce four online anonymous surveys for Cameron syndrome and CHH patients to compile. Um, over 100 patients have used them so far and the results are online and it's completely anonymous. There's no record of who's taken the survey but it's just an interesting indication of experience of what Cameron syndrome patients go through. I'll leave the links into the description but, you can, but people can see the, the results so far and when all the results, and by another month, I'll, when the survey is finished, I'll publish all the results. And some of them, are, some of the results are as expected, but others are a little bit surprising. And hopefully, it'll give some sort of idea for other patients what what it's like to have Kerman syndrome. I'll leave the links to the patient groups. We have four main groups on Facebook, including a couple, and there's a few extra for. Children with Kerman syndrome, patient, um, women with Kerman syndrome, and parents with Kerman syndrome. Um, I'll try and leave those links in the description as well. The four main groups are cover the whole. We have people from all over the world, and it's sometimes a good place to just talk to fellow patients, and we can share information about diagnosis and treatments. There's a couple of websites we use. I leave those links in there as well. And we have a patient meeting coming up in Boston, in America, in November, the 17th of November. Um, it would either be at Massachusetts General Hospital or Boston College. We haven't quite decided yet, but it will definitely be in Boston on the 17th of November. Uh, Dr. Andrew Dwyer from Boston will be there, and we're hoping to get a couple of doctors from Massachusetts General to be there as well. But maybe it should be Dr. Dwyer, who is very experienced with... Um, Patients with Cameron syndrome, having worked in America and in Switzerland. Uh, with myself, um, I'm, I've just switched doctors. So I'm now with my consultant in Newcastle. And he's the doctor who first diagnosed me when I was 23, almost 25 years ago now. It's the first time he, he's now going to be my official doctor. But I've always managed to see a care specialist when I've been it's always been very helpful. So when I was first diagnosed, I was seen by a doctor in London, when I was, where I first worked. He was a care, step, care specialist. And now I'm going to go to Newcastle, which is about a 300-mile trip, about a 300-mile round trip. And but it's worth it just to see a care specialist. So I've been quite fortunate in ever since I was diagnosed to be able to see a proper specialist. And I'm now hoping to get back on to HCG treatment. At the moment, I've been on libido, which is... Works quite well for me, but I'd rather be on HCG. And unfortunately, pregnant, the main form of HCG is not being made anymore, so then I'm going to go on to a different form of HCG. But hopefully, that should happen in the next month or so, because I feel better being on HCG than normal testosterone. But it's a personal choice. Testosterone works just as well, but I seem to prefer the natural testosterone. Over the past year, I've met a few KS patients in. England, and it's always nice to meet new patients. I talk to a lot, quite a lot online, but I do like meeting face to face as well. And we had the patient meeting last year in November in Boston, which hopefully we'll try and become an annual thing now. And then I when then I went around America a little bit and met a few other patients, which is always quite good meeting patients in different countries. Um, I think um, I'm involved in a couple of other things with Dr. Dwyer in setting up patient information site which has been interactive it's taken a while to set up because we're trying to set up with massachusetts general hospital and we're trying to make it suitable for patients to be able to access information and talk to doctors and talk to fellow patients but that's in the process with dr dwyer at the moment and i'm in the process of talking to him and we're trying to get input from other patients to see what they want from this we're trying to get patients more involved in their own treatment and knowing what's going on and know which questions to ask the doctors. Because it's such a rare condition, it's not always easy to know what to ask the doctors. And sometimes we're treated by doctors who have never met a case of Cameron syndrome before. And that sometimes causes trouble with the initial diagnosis. So what we're hoping is to produce like 
questions and answers where people know what to ask when they're seeking diagnosis and try to help them get the right treatment or diagnosis for them by asking the right questions and knowing what treatment they should be on. Because the testosterone treatment, sometimes it has to be on the right dose with the right interval because monthly injections do not always work with male Kalman syndrome patients because it just doesn't last long enough. And with the females, it has to be the right form of estrogen, whether they should be on progesterone or not. And sometimes it takes an experienced healthcare professional doctor to know what is best for the patient. And know there's choices out there. So sometimes it's good to have dis- be able to have a discussion with a doctor about that, at least know what to ask and to know what fertility treatments are out there. I should leave some links below in, with the any information I have sites. But you can always join us on Facebook. The Yahoo group is still there, but it seems quite quiet. Um, but the Facebook is quite active. You can always ask questions there or ask questions privately. And we'll try and help as with many patients as we can find. I'll probably post a bit more information about the patient meeting when we know a bit more, but it will be on the 17th of November. And I'll post the results of the survey on all the websites that I use. But I think that's about it for now. Okay, thank you for listening. Okay, bye-bye.